So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is May the 6th, 2021. And the topic for tonight is, um, well, in Latin, it is Temet Noste. Uh, I'm quite sure I totally butchered the pronunciation because I don't know any Latin, but the, the English translation is Know Thyself. So this is really a, um, I remember part of the, <clears throat> long time ago, there's a, a movie called Matrix and there's in one, one part of the movie where um, Neo, the, uh, the, the, one of the main characters in that movie went to see a, somebody called the Oracle and the oracle um, kind of reminded Neil that um, to to look up at a a plaque that she had put up through a doorway, and that's the the words on it is "temet nosche," which she translates as "know thyself." So that really is the, the theme that I want to focus on in the, the month of May is know thyself. And uh, why? It's because last week I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mentioned that there are three principles of growing our consciousness. Um, and the first one is know thyself. Of course, the second one is accept yourself. And then the third one is you know that you are the creator of your reality. And I would like to expand on more on the first principle, which is know thyself, because it is such a fundamental principle that um, I think it, it really bears to be expanded on a lot more. Um, so as far as the, the more I look into know thyself and what, what it's all about, it, it is such, even though it's a principle, but I see it as actually, it's a paradox as well. So let me explain what do I mean by paradox. The, the nature of the evolution of our consciousness and the consciousness of the whole universe, the, the nature of it is that infinite source seeks to know itself. And so source chose to forget itself completely and to um, instead start all over again to create matter in the in the um to create matter in the form of elements the the four elements is earth water air and fire and so each of these each one of these elements actually do still have consciousness in them however the consciousness is very different from consciousness as we understand it in ourselves. And so that's how Source decided to, to go on this journey of self-discovery is by forgetting completely about itself. And instead, you to create these um, elements, these four elements, and to inject its own consciousness, having forgotten all that it knows about itself and about all that is, and to start from scratch. So not knowing is really a major tool that source, infinite source has chosen in order to get back into knowing itself. So that means, um, in, in other words, on, on some level, our soul knows everything that there is to know, but our soul made a choice to forget 
all of that, all that it already knows in order to allow each soul to choose the path and the experiences that it prefers in order to gradually come back to remembering what it already knows about itself. So this is what I mean when I say that know thyself is a paradox. It's because, well, we already know ourselves. It's just that we decided to pretend that we don't know ourselves so that we can um, create different experiences and choose the, um, the journey, the path of getting back to remembering ourselves fully. So this is what I mean by know thyself is a paradox. So when we think of, when I think of the, the, the notion of know thyself, so it's, it is actually, um, it's easier said than done, of course, um, even though it seems on, I think on a very superficial level, it seems easy. No, well, you know, how do you not know yourself? You've, you've been with yourself, you've lived the life that you, you've been living for um, however many years. So you have to know yourself. However, the, the thing is that if you really, um, if you really think about it and start to notice is that most people, myself including, is included in there as well, is that um, I spent more time trying to distract myself rather than trying to know myself. Like how often, how, how much time do you actually spend on getting to know who you are, getting to know what's important to you? Mm. So, it is actually not as simple as it is. However, let's keep it simple. Let's, let's pretend that it can be simple. So how do we know ourselves? I would ask actually a more general question is how do you know something that you don't know? And the obvious reply would be, hey, why don't you ask? Why don't you ask? And because we, the idea that is that we want to know ourselves is why don't we ask ourselves what it is that we want to know about ourselves? So asking then is the first and probably the most direct means of knowing ourselves. And in thinking about, you know, asking ourselves, it's yeah, it, why don't we ask ourselves? But <clears throat> um. I think some of you have practiced that or tried that already is that we, we go into meditation, we, we talk to our soul is, and we, we ask. However, um, a lot of the times we don't get any answer. And even if we get some answer is how do we know that it is the right answer? Because, you know, how do we know that the answer is from our soul? May, or it could be from any someone else. It could be from, um, you know, just, uh, it could be from a more mischievous entity that is trying to confuse us. How do we know? So then even in this very simple way, the, an, an obvious way to get to know ourselves by asking, is that the, it's not as simple as we think it is. Because before we ask ourselves, we need to actually establish communication with ourselves. Our soul does not communicate with us in the language that we are accustomed to receive information. I'm speaking English right now. However, our soul actually um, does not 
the native language of our soul is not English. It's not Chinese. It's actually not language at all. The native language of our soul is really energy. It's symbols. So when we try to communicate, we have to first start to understand energy. So when I say understand energy, it, it includes understanding our um, energy centers. We have many energy centers. We, we have seven major ones. However, um, the Chinese has kind of mapped out that we have meridians. We have many meridians, which are how energy flows through us. And when we don't understand um, what kind of energy comes through what energy centers, then we have a, an incomplete understanding of what our soul is trying to communicate with us. And also there are times because of different distortions, maybe due to emotional or physical trauma that our energy centers may be, um, may become blocked or somehow it's not functioning properly. So regular clearing out of our energy centers also will facilitate in this communication. So in this first week I, of starting to look at how to know ourselves, I'm not going to go more in depth into talking about our energy centers and what kind of information we can get from e each of those energy centers. I just, I would um, leave that for other, other weeks to explore more of this. So I would continue on to talk more about in general, the ways that we know of in order to know and get to know ourselves more. So besides just asking ourselves and communicating with ourselves, the other way of knowing is really to observe. We can get to know ourselves through observation. Observation is really a great method to know ourselves. And I can give an example of um, biologists trying to find out about, let's say, what the, the habits are or more about what polar bears are or some other animals in order to, to help to, to make sure that those animals um, do not become extinct, that the, their environment is something that we can, what we can do in order to make sure that human beings and animals can have a more harmonious cohabitation. So when biologists wants to find out more, to learn more about certain animals, what they do is really to observe them, to observe them, not, um, not to capture one and, and, and then observe them in a zoo or something like that, even though that may be the one of the ways. However, it's not the best way. Observe. The observation method is especially more productive when we observe what it is, whatever it is that we want to know more of in its natural um, environment. So therefore, when we want to know more about ourselves, then we need to observe ourselves. In order to observe ourselves, we get to know more about ourselves. So how do we observe ourselves then? It is really to pay attention to our own behavior, to observe the conditions which, under which we take particular actions, 
and also conditions under which we don't take actions. We observe our own internal dialogue. We observe how we feel from moment to moment. And it also means not just to observe what we do, how we feel, or how we talk to ourselves and all that. It's also to pay attention to our environment, to, to really observe what we allow our environment to be because we are energetic beings and um, energy affects the physical form, energy affects our body and human beings very naturally, even, even if we don't understand anything about energy, we naturally, there are spaces and places that we feel comfortable, especially in when we are in our own home, we very, um, very naturally would experiment with arranging our own living space in a certain way so that we can feel comfortable. This is something that we instinctively do. So when we start to pay attention to what kind of environment we have uh, or we allow um, ourselves to to live in, to feel comfortable in, then that is also another way of, of observing ourselves in order to get to know ourselves. And this, this method of observation is probably more available to just about anybody because the first way of, you know, communicating with ourselves, it, it really, um, we need to first establish a means of communication, like how, and so we need to learn more about energies. However, observation method don't really need any sensitivity to energy because um, we, our five senses is really very, um, it's already naturally geared towards observation. So observation is the, the most easily available means of getting to know ourselves. If we actually use this method, if we actually consciously choose to observe ourselves and not just observe ourselves one day or you know 30 minutes but to do this day in day out as a practice and and if you actually do some journaling and and write it down so that you can remind yourself of the the the, the states of your mind and also you know the reasons behind why you do certain things then you have a record of it and over time it actually helps you to gain more um, insights into yourself so one of the, the the ways that you can use this method is to have a question in your mind to, to, to be more, e, I would say, effective is to have a question in your mind. Let's say, for example, um, you want to find out, is this the right thing for me to do now? Then have that question, hold that question in your mind. First thing in the morning, for example, hold that question in your mind. And then throughout the day, you keep reminding yourself and then also reminding yourself to observe itself, to observe yourself. Because once you have posed a question, you, you kind of um, put a stake in the ground, like metaphorically, 
put a stake in the ground. And when you have that, when you have that question, then you, your unconscious mind will start to attract um, events, people, all of those things to answer your question. Maybe not in the most direct way as in you know, somebody telling you what, what the answer is. It could be very subtle ways of all of a sudden you would um, come across a, um, uh, a piece of writing that somehow resonated with you and seems as though it's talking to you and answering your question. It's, it's like when you ask a question, it sends out a certain vibration. And that vibration will, when you actually read something that resonate with that, the, the vibration of your question, you would feel that in your body. Um, you may feel it. However, it's not just one thing. It's not just one time answer. Because you post a question, your unconscious mind will find different ways to answer you, not just in one way, but in many ways, until you start to really get a, the, the answer in several ways until you actually resolve it and communicate at a, a, um, a level to say that, oh, okay, that I answered that question. And when you, when you feel the, the resolution to your question, then it's like the energy start to dissipate on itself. So this is one way of using observation is to ask a question. and then just observe what happens for as long as it takes for until you feel that your, your question is fully answered and, you, and everything is fully resolved. And the, the idea is to, to not try to close the door, not try to take the first answer but to really feel into it, to really see if, for example, if, if you, the, the, the example I gave is, is this the right thing to do? Let's say the first answer came when somebody, you know, just random person say yes, then kind of check in to see how do you feel when you, when you hear the answer of yes? Do you feel like you're happy about that? Or do you actually feel kind of disappointed that it is yes? And observe what is, what you, how you feel when you hear the answer yes. And then let's say the next piece of information, the next piece of um, is, is a no, then check in. How do you feel when the answer is no? Do you feel disappointed? Or do you actually like, somehow like the answer no better? And also why do you like that answer better? So these are all ways that you can, you can ask a question and observe instead of communicating and, and really requiring that you give yourself the answer is to just ask a question and observe what the universe comes back as. And also observe how you feel about each question as well. So 
these are two ways of um, getting to know yourself more. And I also want to put in a third way is to, it's something that um, a lot of people do. Uh, well, I, a lot of people I know do, <laughs> let's put it that way. Maybe not a lot of people, but maybe just the people that I know would do is to, um, in the morning is to pick a card. So a card meaning that if we have a, a deck of tarot cards, it could be anything that you, you, you any deck of cards. It could be um, something very elaborate. It could be, um, it actually does not even need to be tarot cards or does not need to be um, conventional tarot cards. It could be just, um, you can actually just, let's say if you, if you like reading a Bible, just use a bi the Bible and just flip, randomly flip to a page and just randomly pick a paragraph. So um, it can be any book you like. It does not even have to be a, um, a book like a Bible, which is more of a spiritual kind of book. It could be any random book. So, but it, it's, it's a random book that somehow you feel gravitated that morning is to just pick a book and then just go to a random page and pick a random paragraph and then just see how that, that, uh, the words in that paragraph is going to see what the message is for you and also see how that message resonates with you throughout the rest of that day. And that's one way of getting to know yourself too. You can do that just by randomly picking a thought whether it is from a book, from a tarot cards, or you can actually even um, pick a magazine. And if you don't like to read, you can actually just pick random pictures, have a deck of random pictures that somehow you enjoy. And you just pick one out of that, that um, pile and then just allow your own imagination and creativity to pull out the, the, the meaning and the, the, the focus that you want to for that day and see how that random act of picking a thought, whether it is in the form of a tarot deck of cards or a book or pictures to just see how that thought weaves itself, whether it resonates with you for the rest of the day or not at all. So these are all different ways that you can start to get to know yourself more because just the, the intention of getting to know yourself more will start to magnetize the, um, your environment in however way that is most convenient for you to start to reveal itself or reveal yourself to you. So this is all I have for this week anyways on the, the subject of know thyself and um, let's see. 